Today I'll show you how I do Raspberry Pi monitoring and I'm also uh, doing a kind of authentication with my Raspberry Pi monitoring. So when I when this is the server and this is the client, we have uh, the server has a private key and a public key and also the client has a private key and a public key and the client knows um, the public key of the server. So what's the concept behind it? Um, we want to authenticate that the client only executes remote commands from the server. So we don't want anyone else than us uh, to execute root commands on the Raspberry Pi. So what we are doing is um, the client is behind a firewall, so it has to do a HTTP request to the server and ask uh, first tell him some status like uh, the df uh, dash h, so how many gigabytes you have on your hard disk, and asks for a command to execute, and uh, <coughs> and the client signs that command. Um, such that the server knows this one, this Raspberry Pi, is always this Raspberry Pi and never someone else. So the server receives the status, he can now verify the identity of the client and then he can send a command back, um, signed with his private key, and the client first checks if that private key is uh, correct, uh, that key if its signage is correct, and if it's correct, it execute it only then executes the command, and if the command has a result like list some folder, it sends the response back to the server signed with his private key. So at first uh, we have the key signing function. Yeah. Um, this is the key generator. I'm just calling OpenSSL DSA param, creating DSA params, uh, create a DSA um, public and private key, and extract the public key from the private key. And now let's look, take a look at the client and at the server side. On the client side, it's a bash script. On the server side, it's PHP. The bash script at first has four parameters. The first parameter is uh, the endpoint, the service endpoint of the server. The second is where it finds the public key from the server and then where it finds its own, uh, his own public and private key. So the client stores these three keys, uh, private key, public key and public key of the server. If the keys are not yet available, it creates its own keys. So when I deploy multiple Raspberry Pis, everyone creates its own key. So I can later identify uh, the multiple Raspberry Pis that I'm monitoring. Now I'm uh, building up the statistics. DFH, uh, pros, uh, cat mem info and uh, process list, put them into message. And then open SSL digest with SHA 265 uh, writing into message.zig. And now I'm sending a with uh, with current I'm sending a post message that has message and sig in the uh, post fields to the server. When the now I'm getting a response. The response consists of a command and the signature of the command. The command is only one line, so I'm extracting it with head, uh, with, with head and the rest with tail. And now I'm verifying if the server signature uh, matches with the server public key. And only then I'm executing this command sent from the server. And if the message is not yeah if the message file is not empty this is a dash s is four files 
Um, then I'm yeah signing again my response message and sending it to the server. Yeah, this is the client side. So the client side always checks if the command is really from my server. The the server looks a bit different. It has its own private key. And yeah, puts them into a PHP data structure. And when the request is done, it tries to verify the post sick with message. So it tries to verify that message with signature uh, is really uh, from this one and um, yeah when the check is correct then it yeah somehow stores the message because it's this kind of status and then um, after that it creates a new command, adds a new line and a signature uh, and sends it to the server back, back to the server. And yeah, that's it basically. That's how I can do safe, uh, secure monitoring of the Raspberry Pi and correctly identifying the identity. Um, the interesting thing is also that I'm hashing the public key of the client and so I have a unique identifier for each uh, Raspberry Pi.